kind of forget that the camera's on and then I say stupid shit and immediately regret it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Tonight I'm joined by Bragg. Hey! And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello, Bragg is back. Yes, um, he decided to step out from the lounge. Yeah, <laughs> my... <laughs> the producing area. <laughs> yeah, the uh, where I do all the producing. Um, where is Blake? Man. He'll be gone for another five years, so you'll see him then. Yeah, the fact that you've seen him twice in a row, you've already been blessed. Yeah. <laughs> three times in a row. Was it three times? Two times? I think it was two. Five times. Okay. Anyway, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Brag. Uh, so, I played a bit of Master Jewel, uh, just trudging along. I don't think I'm even... I don't think I'm out of gold yet. So Still that's... not. Nah. And are you on Eldritch or try this time? Try. Right? Still try. Yeah, like, I'm... Um, Try and rescue cat try at the moment, I'm pretty sure. Just, yeah. I first a Melfi try the other day, and like, it was just doing its usual Melfi thing. I'm like, okay, I literally have nothing to fear from this. This will be fine. It was the most combo-centric Melfi list I've ever seen in my life. They added Hoppy Squadron somehow, and like, after they did the Melfi summon bounce pop things, they used that to summon Herald off turn. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. That'll I'll, happen. I was oh, so hell confused. Melfi's. I wish I had the uh, kahunas to do that, but I don't know. I'm a, I'm a meta scum. Uh, and then I found another list that I'm probably going to try and run at uh, OTS um, for us that we've got confirmed is happening. In yeah, we yes. have our first event for two years. No, longer than that, because we are meant to have one and then COVID happened and yeah. we just didn't. So oh, we, we were waiting for a year for that regionals. It was the third, Friday, uh, third Sunday in April 2020. Yeah, wow, it's nearly the anniversary. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna have a tilt at that because at locals I wouldn't mind getting my um my qualification again just just for something I'm pretty sure I'm busy on the June long weekend so it will probably all be for naught but yeah wait isn't the June, June long, long weekend, weekend? What? Hmm? is that when that's normally is yeah oh I'm fucked oh, okay I booked it oh. off because my work is like you need to take leave I'm like I want this week I like, got it off but I, oh but Tom you're going wants to go to Oh, Melbourne. that's right. He wants to go Mel to Melbourne. Yeah. He wants yeah. to go to uh, Melbourne for Pokemon for his birthday. Because, yeah, I get back from Singapore, then go right to Melbourne, like, mm. pretty much the same day. What if... Oh, wait, no, they don't... Mm. What if Konami doesn't announce an event Um, yet? yeah. Well, there's, there is that. Like, being that we haven't had events for that long, there's every chance that they just won't do Nats within the usual time frame. Yeah, they could easily do... Oh, like, whatever, it's going to be... Um, was it meant to be States, isn't it? Uh, the states, yeah, they're, it's supposed to be states and then WCQ. So the WCQ could easily be put, pushed back to July when everyone else's WCQs is, instead of us being the also, first. Also, can in you season. participate in different states if you're not from that state? Yeah, you're only allowed to participate in one state. Oh, okay. Let's go to Melbourne. Yeah, if Melbourne's on that weekend, we'll I will have, happily we'll go to Melbourne. Invites. Oh yeah, like <laughs> I'm, I'm like desperate to yeah, go to yeah, any event. I'm just like, like let me go, it. and <laughs> I'm hoping I get it. Like, surely, like. I'm gonna try my best. I'm pretty keen to grind it out a bit. Like Pokemon TCG off to one side. I'm probably gonna still do those locals, but no, I've really got to get to the task at hand of qualifying for. Just on that note, before we go any further as well, just a quick shout out to um, one of our locals uh, players. They went to um, what do they call it? Ah, uh, that was regionals, Brisbane was, regionals. Uh, Brisbane regionals, about 180 players or so. Yeah, Pokemon uh, tournament. Yeah, Pokemon um, uh, in Masters. Uh, and our dear friend Louis Pizzaccio, uh came second, did incredibly well, yeah. um, lost out to probably one of his worst matchups. Yeah, a matchup that was com like, that was ready for his deck, that it, which is so wild. Like that deck was very much out of nowhere. It was a very last... niche deck. Like yeah. it, I, it was like it was on the radar. People were aware of it, but yeah. it wasn't one that people were expecting. Oh, but this is going to be like finding the, sky the tech and then the win con. He he ran into unfortunate matchups, but still played like really well. So between that and a few like a uh, uh, Nats top and then the YCS tops, that boy's good at card wheel. He's very good at card game. He beat the world champion in the semi final. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So proud yeah, of Lewis. Top shit to Lewis. Um, anything else for your week in Yu Gi Oh? Ben. Cool. My working my week in Yu-Gi-Oh started with a text message from Bragg being like, "Man, I really need a test for this event." And I was like, <laughs> "Okay, 
<laughs> we'll test, Frag. We'll test. So we're going to test at some point. Um, and you then... also... Wait, no, you can compete, can't you? Or... I can I can compete. I already had this weekend off, and what I had the weekend off for has been cancelled, so I can go. Perfect. Um, haven't decided on what deck I'm playing. We'll get to that, though. But at Locals, I went 3-1. I played Birds again. Enjoying Birds. My only loss was to Jake. Uh, it pretty much played out exactly like the week before as yep, well. it did. <laughs> Except we took out the game that I won. Yeah, yeah, we did so skip over that. Game one, <laughs> Jake wins die roll. Uh, I open shifter. He opens cold by. Exact same thing happened when we played last week. And then game two, I bricked, but still had the trap. I still had Harvey's Feather Storm and Eaglin. And then, yeah, turn skip Jake, but then had to follow up this time. And I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. And that was my loss. I hate All those turn skips. Good, like, and that's the thing. Maybe that's our argument for turn skip cards. Yeah, sure, you can skip the turn. But if, you're, if you've bricked, you're still bricked. Do turn I, skips really win games? I did have the realisation after the fact, though, that I had full combo. And ah, if he'd added so a different card off his prosperity. added the Eglin, just being like, oh, well, if I get hand trapped, I at least still have a wind wing beast on board to mm. activate the trap. Uh, not realizing, so I had uh, Apex Avian in hand, and I had revealed uh, the advent. Advent. Ah. So I could have advented away the Avian. Ad. It does play into hand traps a little harder, but but I didn't have them. Yeah, Jake yeah. didn't have the hand trap. I had Effect Veiler, and he'd already activated Shifter, yep. so I couldn't use it. <laughs> You're better off taking that punk, getting into that win con, yeah. and then getting countered than yeah, yeah. That's fair. And that was it. That was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. 3-1. Went fine. Uh, pulled nothing from the OTS back, but it's fine because the OTS back shit. So. Oh, for God's sake. Jake, how was your uh, week in Yu-Gi-Oh? My week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Sunday didn't happen, um, just due to whatever. Um, people just weren't there. It was quite a week because of weather. Weather. You can't you can't play card games uh, inside. Yeah, you can't sit inside for four hours when it's raining outside. Don't be ridiculous. I hate... I, oh, anyway, that's a whole... Bet, you what? have to get to locals? Yeah. like oh, a no. Lot of, uh, no. If only there was a vehicle that completely sheltered me from the uh, weather. Hold on. So wait, so you did you go to locals last week? Yeah. Because I was on the impression that the, like, the, like, the roads were water like it. It's a write-off. No, by... So why week? didn't my bus turn up? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the problem. Public transport. One Don't more rely month. on public transport. One more month. Um, yeah, so nothing happened on Sunday. Uh, but tonight, I also went X1. I was in the final against Lewis. Um, Men broke the curse, by the way, of have, doing a good event and then doing poorly at the yeah, next event. Yeah, not going to lie. It was kind well of Pokemon rude. And then won locals. Yeah, not cool. Um, so, yeah, game one, he won the die roll. But I couldn't break the board. Cool. Uh, game two, I set up towers. He can't break the board cool game three um a bit of a grind match between the both of us um like he um i think he impermed or valid or something the thing that searched me the field spell and i couldn't do anything after that um i said a, a couple no no sorry he nibiru'd me um i tactics away the card that starts him uh set two pass he goes to search i ash he goes to use an effect i imperm he can't do anything else um a bit of back and forth um basically the end game state was that he had one card in hand and he had the light blocking um yangzing on board and my hand was the light ignister and the fire ignister so i was like okay so i can't use the light effect so i'll just start with red red effect go to search chain ogre and then i have no monsters on board and no access to field spell so if i hadn't been greedy and just summed the light one for no effect and then linked into um dark templar search the field spell would have been fine. I, so I've had the realization: Does Santa Claus special summon? Does it normal summon your friends? Special summon. Special. Does Lava Golem special summon? Normal, normal summons. Ones. Lava Golem is the removal you need, or Speed Mode. Yeah, I don't have a way to like out tower out, out, out that the card because yeah. you can't cut it's, you. Yeah, it's scuffed. And that's the thing that, and like you would find it difficult to run Nibiru because it does conflict with the deck. Yeah. So it's like. Once I start doing things with Flundery... Like, oh, that's the thing. Lava Golem has a restriction, doesn't it? You can't normal summon after you... Yeah, no, it. Lava's special, but it, oh. you but you can't normal. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, so it's literally Sphere Mode or nothing for the deck. It'll just be a case of just trying to use other hand traps. Like, Shifter's good enough. Shifter stops you getting there. 
Is there anything that you can use to increase your attack? Because, like, to get over 4k... No, everything reduces an attack of other things that doesn't increase. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. It's a rough time. Before we move on, and I know we've got a big episode here, it's only just occurred to me, and I want to put it out there. So, you, you mentioned that I messaged you, I want to test. I yep. also messaged Jake last night, asking for cards. If I made a deck of every card I requested between 12am and 3am off random people, I wonder what I'd end up with. You'd have something to do with the dotscapers that you've asked off me. <laughs> no secrets. No secrets. <laughs> He's only asked me for one card and it's super obscure. We move. We do. Um, and there's a lot to move on to. We've got quite a big episode. Uh, tonight we start with the OCG ban list. I actually forgot that that happened. Yeah, that is a thing it's, that happened. Um, yeah, it I, was kind of funny because, like, literally two minutes before it happened, I was like, "Oh, this YouTuber's like putting out his guest for the OCG ban list. He thinks it's going to happen soon." And then someone messaged back, being like, "It just did." <laughs> it because someone had gone in the got source like to asking. I'm like, "It's just, it's the middle of the month every bloody like every quarter. Like, this isn't rocket science. Like, this person who predicted it, like." You don't need a source. Like, they predicted what's probably going to happen. Oh, like, I'm not going to do this. I went to go and look for an old list and go, yeah, look, it's always, the, like, around this day. And I'm like, oh, that's the current list. Link. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, effective as of April 1, no real surprises there. It's the OCG. They just do things how they're supposed to be done. Uh, so, for forbidden cards, we have uh, Io, Imperial Order, and Predator Plant, Verte, Anaconda. Ugh. Both expected... Yeah, it's the end. Like Verte, Verte so, has Verte. Yeah, so they've banned Dragoon. They've limited Destiny Fusion, and now burnt banned Verte. Do you see any part of those other engines coming back? Like, do you see Dragoon, Dragoon coming back to, to one? Maybe Dragoon to one, but that's it. Oh, but you got. Well, do you Eye just leave that card dead? You got Red Eyes inside. It did warp. It did warp the OCG. Is it is if if Dragoon does come back to one in the OCG, they've still got insight. Is that still powerful enough? Probably. Yeah, I'm thinking it is. Like even without like, Verte is there for like, and even if it doesn't go now, like there will be something else that breaks it in the future. Like, it just it does need to go. Even ne even before Dragoon, Neos was doing Neos stuff. Fusion was cool. Yeah, wasn't perfect, but that was. That was still doing something. So even with the rubbish fusions. Yeah, Verte makes sense. Yep. Uh, then in the limited section, we have uh, Fusion Destiny, as I said. Uh, Water Enchantress of the Temple to one. <laughs> they really hate Brave. Oh, Can't they wait until they give us an ulti. <laughs> oh, we're, not, we're not. We're just not. Okay, <laughs> shut up. Um, and Ride of Aramisir to one as well. They have hit that engine so hard. Jesus. It's because it's Everything. so splashable, yeah. Wait. Like, literally the only deck that can't use it is Invoked. <laughs> I've just had the realisation that there's only one hit here to Albaz. Correct. And, and even it's, though, a, even, it's a tap. It's, yeah. And it is a lot of tap. Even though and that realistically, deck... like, like, it needed three to play because of the um, Brave Engine, but now we can happily just play two and just hope for the normal summon to resolve. Not to mention, like, it has its built-in hand trap in anyway. Like, it's got the thing anyway. I just don't... I don't understand them hitting Braves so hard so soon out, like... I do. I think no, maybe I it's them addressing it. those w format warping cards again. Like, Dragoon was a one-card thing, so, like, it's a bit different. It's extra deck accessible, but not every deck's going to be able to have direct access to it. Yeah. But this is, like every deck that doesn't love a normal summon will use this but you don't look at that branded deck and go ah it's the the enchantress she's the problem in that deck like well there's... definitely it definitely boosts and it's definitely something that you do need to address i'm just it's just it's just telling that they're going so hard like i agree like the cards are everywhere like i agree with it it's just it's just interesting that they'll choose this over a million other staples and whatnot it's also interesting they've opted to limit both instead of just banning Water Enchantress and leaving rights at three. Yeah, to leave the the other parts of the engine to do whatever it needs to do. Yeah, it'll be... Those poor brave players. <laughs> what are they going to do? They're so brave. <laughs> so brave. 
What was the branded hit? We're about to get uh, there. Yeah, so that is in our next section. Um, so in semi limits, we have uh, Scarlet Sanguine, uh, branded opening, uh, Pot of Prosperity, <laughs> and uh, Tri Brigade, uh, what's that one called again? Fractal? Yeah, Fractal. So yeah, yeah. fucking dumb that Prost's it too. Why are they going so hard after pot cards? That's a dragon meat hit. <laughs> I was going to say Prost was no, a... actually, <laughs> it's a Flounder East hit. Yeah, I was going to say it's a Flounder hit. Yeah. Flounder's the third best deck in that format. Yeah. You just take a lot of Brave out of that format. You get rid of the hero we stuff. What uh, is Sanguine now? Flounder could very well just dominate. Uh, I think that's Sanguine going up to two. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, cool let me double check. Because Eldland's uh, meant to be sanguine, a Sanguine, 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 sanguine. I can't see what If it's going 2-2, two, two, it's because I think Eldritch is like the fourth best deck. Yeah. It's just... It's... Oh, sorry. I definitely cut this list off way too quickly because it's got like those bits that have said that they've gone down and then another bit that says they've gone up. Um, so, yeah, let me confirm. Uh, sanguine. Yeah, unlimited to semi-limited. So okay, it did go so from it did three go to from two. three to two. So yeah. that would be a yeah, just an elder shit. So yeah, have they have they just gone? Okay, what are the four best decks? Be Prosper just... Flund. In fairness, like, like it's not a super OP deck, but it is fucking annoying. Like that deck has needed some addressing for some time. Oh, Eldritch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Like, but they have one Eldland. Yeah, they, oh, that's like, true. Yeah, so they've already had the Eldland hit, and they're still around. It makes sense. It's just yeah okay so prosper's there for thunder you got the branded hit you've hit the main decks pretty big something i noticed looking at the ocg a lot recently is they weirdly have just all decided that if they're playing eldritch they're now playing 60 cards yeah and it's like 60 card brave eldritch combo where you just activate grass hit your brave engine and you hit Hope that you've a not milled of all of your older shit. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but yeah, as I said, I did sort of cut off the limits a bit early. So we've got uh, Night Assailant to two, Harmonizing Magician. Oh, I this was to three. No. Oh, okay. These ones are to three. Okay. So yeah, there's way more. Sem- they went hard on the semi limits. They, they love a semi limit in the OCG. Uh, so yeah, Night Assailant, Harmonizing Magician, uh, Wind Up Zen Mains. Um, no, no, sorry, Zen Mighty. Yeah. Uh, August Harp Horror to two. Um, I can't remember what that it's card's called. Uh, Divine Wind of yeah. the Mist Valley, uh, Rageki to two, beginning of the end, and Trishula of the Ice. Uh, do barriers. the loop, do the loop, do the loop, do the loop, do the loop. <laughs> uh, maybe they're ridering it. Ridering. Uh, they did not. They ridered Night They ridered Night Assailant, um, well, which still... now reads that you cannot add back Night Assailant. There's still two weeks between now and that April set that they're going to have. Valid. What's to say that it's once per turn? Do you bother though? Yeah. May as well. All the others got the errata. Like Brio and shit. Yeah, that's a good point. That's. All of them have They're had it, right? Yeah, Dolores. Dolores yeah, been yeah. Errated? yeah. I, I don't know. I don't see them the really the going that hard, up, hard after it. Errata. Um, but yeah, Night Assailant's now been. Oh, well, as of April 1, will be errata to say that it cannot add back another copy of Night Assailant, so you can't loop it. Um, and I don't know if it's relevant, but it now says target a monster on the field and destroy it as opposed to card. No. I don't know if that was a thing. Like, it may have just said destroy one monster on foot. Like, the problem solving card text might not have been updated for some time. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, that is it for semi limits. Um, do, do you reckon they just saw the TCG, like, brought Rageki to three and they're like, oh, we can give it a go? We can be spicy. Well, they had it banned for ages when we had it at one. Yeah, because it was reversed. They had Duster, but we had Rageki. Yeah. And then they got back Rageki and we were like, but where's our Duster? And we got Duster eventually. We got there eventually. Uh, Lock McCusick was eventually correct. Well, they have Storm <laughs> as well. Oh, Heavy Storm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> they have Heavy Storm just in that format. Just sitting there doing nothing. Yep. True. I guess there's not that like that many things that you really want to destroy in your own back row to give you pluses. Yeah. Did they actually ever fucking limit that card? Holy shit, I never realised they did. Okay. Yeah. Um, and onto the unlimits, we have uh, Altergeist Multifaker uh, <laughs> from one to three. Uh, Memories of Hope went from two to three. I just never assumed they hit that, but they did. Yeah, that deck was uh, that, that deck was around 
enough to give it the shout two years ago. I mean, the amount of people... Wait, which deck are we talking about? Oh, uh, Numeron. 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 Yeah. yeah, the amount of people from the OCG that are loving a Numeron OTK on Master Duel, <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all. They fucking love it. But that card just feels so bad. No, it doesn't it's kind of like a like if you hit it, you hit it, you don't, you don't. Like most of the time, they're playing to go second in a format where you can't side to not get fucked over. So the amount of times that I'd like, if they choose for me to go first, I assume automatically it's Numeron OTK. I do not commit to the board at all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't put a fucking thing on the board. No, it's FTK them. Yeah, look. <laughs> um, yeah, so Memories of Hope, semi limited to unlimited. A Hero Lives, semi limited to unlimited. Probably with the Horizon of Hero support coming, why not? Also, heroes don't do a thing. They can summon from the deck as many times as you like. They're still not doing anything. Surely they, they turn up in a broken combo in five years. Well, it's with Firewall banned. They don't have that broken combo anymore because that's what happened. Yeah. It was like, activate Hero Lives. This is a full FTK. Yeah, surely they just print something dumb again that heroes can abuse and we just end up in the same spot. Hmm, doubtful. And... Substitute doesn't get the same... Uh same thing as heroes it's not fair nope and metaverse semi-limited to unlimited i hate the idea of that but they've also got mystic mind banned at this point so like yeah. it's like give oh, back no. metaverse the three yeah look search as many field spells as you like none of them are the one that i hate that fire field spell can only do so much what's it called mm, yeah uh five their way to heaven yeah uh yeah so, so interesting is those brave things. hits enough to wind back the tenure stuff as well? Probably, because yeah. it did heavily rely on the brave package to do its stuff. Oh, that makes sense. That deck just looks so good, and it just sucks that we don't have all the pieces for it. We kind of do. Well, yeah, we kind of do, but not enough for me to go. Yes, I will play that. It also seems super big brain. Yeah, like, which I do not have. Super big brain, which I do not have. Lucky I found my small brain combo. What are we on to now, Jake? Uh, we are on to uh, the Master Duel 20 million downloads update. Oh, yeah. So the reason I had that as a, in the same segment was, do you think we get this ban list in Master Duel in the next two weeks? I think we I get don't know if it'll be April that ban list. Yeah, I don't... We get a ban list. Okay. Yeah, April I'm first. I'm thinking they will because, like you said, it coincides with the uh, battle pass the battle expiring. Pass. Um, okay. And, like, it is getting okay. a little stale. It does need to change somewhat, whether they add new product, whether they do a ban list. IO ban. A new format. <laughs> Is that just so that you can FTK? Oh, so I can OTK. You know, I don't think I've seen IO resolved against me. I've seen it once. I get it resolved against me a lot. And I usually, because I, like, the only times I remember seeing it, I've I had the... No, that's a lie. Early on, it resolved against me because I tried to Galaxy Cyclone something because oh, I, yeah. I didn't craft um, the Cosmics yet. But it's just as well because then I can banish it next turn and pop it. Yeah. See? The things you learn when you're a budget player is the alternatives that work. Um, so, yeah, um, they had the update. So um, you got a 1,000 gems for logging in plus I think like another 300 or something. Yeah, like, there's a whole terrific. bunch of free gems for fucking nothing. Um, I they, haven't got any of them. You should jump on and just get them. Yeah, I should. Um, the season period for Revival Legends and Star Wars Force has been extended, um, which will end on the 4th of April now, to further coincide with the expiry of the Battle Pass. So, d do you reckon they'll change the main packs then, if those are expiring at those points? Yeah. Because they'll add in the new stuff. Hopefully. Um, they added a new solo gate, uh, the Fairies Who Paint the Weather. That is a long grind it's not hard but like weather painters struggle to do lots of damage because it does not have the <laughs> it doesn't have stuff. the new support it's it's a long long game and both the decks can get out the big one that just blocks you from touching the back row so it's just like the biggest grind oh it takes so fucking long but you know what it's fine because it's not nearly as egregious as that fucking god deck oh my god I haven't done that one yet do ah. Oh. Make sure, like, you're in your most calm state. Because if you go in there with even the mildest frustration, you'll want to murder someone by the end. What? I was murderous what with that deck. What do you do deck. if I go in there and just do it the first go? Then you've opened well. Not one time did I go in there and open a competent hand. I'm like, oh yeah, I've got Ra and fucking Slifer in my hand. Nothing else. Literally nothing. 
And I couldn't even beat a fucking Red Eyes deck. That's how bad it was. The, the one problem I got myself into once or twice was, um, like, I summoned the Ra, got down to 100 life points, punched him for a heap, but then it's Red Eyes. Like, they just do burn damage for free. Yep. So they just burnt me, and I'm like, oh, I was on 100 life points. That's, um... It burns you, then it was time, and the judge turns up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time to complete, so Weathers is just a grindy thing. So, just one random point. Do you reckon there has been a point in Yu Yu history where a player has activated their Wing Dragon of Ra, put themselves to 100 life points, then time's been called, and they've been like, these fucking time rules? Oh, look, rule of averages, there has to have been one. I think the last time I played Ra at a YCS, it was sorry, um, it, so, it, the time rules didn't exist. I'm sorry, like that. Yeah, I only had two sphere modes, so I just put the Ra in. Yeah, you uh, play the Ra, and then okay. you get sphere mode, and you go, "Almighty Ra!" <laughs> if you're in that position, you would have had to have learnt the chant. You just draw for turn. Anything to say by chant? Please, recite it for us. Oh, are we doing this? We've got so much to do. we got lots to cover. We move. Oh. I'll do it at the on. end. I'll do it at the end so we can. Easy, it's easy to cut. Stay right. tuned to the end. Stay to the end and hit that subscribe button. Um, another thing that we don't have time for tonight is the Speed Duel special. Uh, Brag will be doing another special podcast based on some Speed Duel product and news and stuff that's coming out. I'm um, slowly chipping he has to away find some. He has to, psyche. I was going to say, he has to find someone who's interested we to talk about it. We throw it off the balcony at now. the end. <laughs> 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 I'll be like, like, like <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get Blake in black. Okay, Blake, so I like this card. Are you going to also throw it off the balcony? <laughs> <laughs> My dark. Um, now. Onto some of the bigger things about this week. We have lots and lots of product to talk about, so let's go through it. So we have the announcement of OTS 19. Yep. So, um, so, 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 Jake says it's a big week. This is also a shit OTS pack. Okay. Well, this one's shit too. For one, they've announced one card. Yep. Two, your opinion on OTS is nil. <laughs> it does not matter. I do not care. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The next OTS... Everyone agrees with me. They do don't. Do they do not. You do. I, definitely no. in the comments, we need to... I get that. I'm, I'm, I, I haven't been swayed to hating it yet, because I don't own a Zeus. Such a shit yes. Funny, I pulled an ulti tonight. Oh. He didn't How mention much? his week in Yu-Gi-Oh, because he knows it's shit. Well, we'll between you and Luke. We'll what? Oh, d that... Hey, Luke. <laughs> Luke doesn't watch this. Um, but anyway, um, the only card that we know so far from the OTS 19 is Ulti Fallen of Albaz, a future meta deck. Um, already has two low printings, so it doesn't conflict with any high rarity printings. Two um, low rarity printings? The secret rare. Well, yeah, it's going to have Ultra, and it's going to have Common in the Structure. And the secret rare. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so you already have a secret rare. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Oh shit. Oh god. I love how Albaz is nearly always the defining divider between us. Because, yeah, you, you've you been on the record of not liking it. You've always liked it. And I've, I've liked, liked it like, since it came I'm out. I'm like, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> like, I think it's a fine card. Okay. But it's overhyped as fuck. The card is not the very but good. He looked cool. If it said this card can't be responded to, I'd be like, Oh yeah, it was this legitimately it was legitimately super yeah, cool. If it <laughs> just said you can't respond to this card's activation, I'd be like, this card's fucking incredible. And then if it was a spell. So it needs to be incredible for you to even remotely like it. No, like that's the thing though. There is a better version of this card that exists, and it's called Super Poly, and it's at three. So here's the thing. Now that the deck has evolved from when it first came out, like when Albaz was first out. Because His effect on board is yeah. almost redundant. Oh, yeah. You don't care about that. Thus making you it just... an even worse ulti. I'm sorry, have you seen Atlantean Dragoon? That fucker never hit the board. Yeah. Ever. Yep. And it's still at least a $300 ulti. Did I say it was a good ulti? Again, I don't care about your oh, opinion. You don't, you I don't, don't know why don't I'm justifying Dragoon's myself a good ulti? Dragoon? Goons? Yeah. That's fine. Anyway, right. I stopped caring. Um, so we have Did you play that Max Verity, coming... uh, Red Eyes, and Dark Magician? The max that I had, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just go fun. fuck yourself. BPC or both. Anyway, so this one, assuming this is American Dates, will be releasing on the 10th of June? Or the 6th of October? 
June seems very far away. No, it's June. We only just got the first the OTS eighteen. Yeah, we've literally only just that got OTS eighteen. Factory got delayed. Oh, for oh sure. God, June's only three months away. Yeah, it's not that far away. Oh, Christ. My life. Uh, so yeah, Flash despite Ben's opinions, eyes. I'm excited for that. My opinions are correct. Your opinions are warped. Um, then we have um, some new archetypes. Um, Mister Room, we've already done that. Did nah, we, we have one more Mister Room card in the. Oh, so we got okay. the rest of the deck build pack announced. Yes. So we have Labyrinth, uh, a new archetype in the whatever set it's called. Um, Is that the Booba deck? Yes. Please don't describe. Yes. It. You described it like that though. So are you on board with this? Not. Let's pull. Let's pull the table. We we in on Labyrinth? Yeah. I have yeah. no fucking idea. Yeah. I like it. I'd rather the other one that decks out your opponent. It's Eldritch, but woman. <laughs> My opinion does not align with this man's. It does. They take different paths to arrive at the same peak. I like the deck because it's kind of fun. He like it because women. No, an Eldritch. Anyway, um, so the Does first card we have is uh, Labyrinth of the Silver Palace. Level 8 Dark Fiend, Defect Monster Attack, 29, Defense 19. You can only use the second or third effects of this card's name each once per turn. Effect number one, your opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to the activation of your normal trap cards. Uh, you can target one normal trap card in your graveyard, set it to your field, but it cannot be activated unless you control a fiend monster. If a monster or monsters leaves your field by, normal, by your normal trap card's effects, you can destroy one card your opponent controls or one random card in their hand. Does is it a fiend monster? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a level eight dark fiend effect monster, as I read what in a tra the very tra first. tricks of plants. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, next, we have uh, Labyrinth Archfiend, which in the OCG is known as Labyrinth Demon. Uh, level seven dark fiend effect monster attack two thousand defense twenty eight. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card, oh, if a trap card is activated, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can set one normal trap card that activates only when an attack is declared directly from your deck to your field. Uh, gains 400 attack for each normal trap card with different names in your graveyard. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target. Fiend monsters you control for attacks except itself. That seems really bad. Yes, that, right. that, that card is not good. I mean, it summons itself for free and then sets a trap. A battle trap. Your favourite kind of trap. No. Not good. Wait, does it set magic cylinder? Yep. Cards that can only be activated, normal traps that can be activated during the battle phase. I thought it said when they declare attack. No, no. When this card is special summoned. If this card is special summoned, you can set one normal trap card that activates only when an attack is declared. Okay. Directly I thought from your deck to your hand. A direct attack. Is no, no, no. Declared. I tried to pause to okay. differentiate that. Okay. Um, but anyway, next we have Labyrinth Serveth Ariana, uh, level 4 Dark Fiend Effect Monster, attack 16, defense 21. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name per turn and only once that's turn. If this card is normal special summoned, you can add one Labyrinth card from your deck to your hand. How creative! Itself. In like beautiful deck build, like a uh, deck creation here, a normal summon that adds. It can be a special summon though. Look, sometimes they just don't give those to decks, and we're just sitting here like, the fuck does nothing here add? Uh, if this card is normal or special... Oh, wait, no, I read that. You can have one. Uh, if a monster or monsters leaves the field by your normal trap card's effects, you can draw one card, then special summon one fiend monster, or set one spell trap from your hand. Eh. She's... Uh, well, the, the ad's alright, but... Uh, Ariana apparently sounds like, please have a trap pit in Japanese. Kinky. Uh, next is Labyrinth Chandra. Uh, level 3 Dark Fiend Effect Monster, Attack 15, Defense 0. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. Oh my god, it's a Dragon Chandelier! Yep, who would have thought Chandelier. from the name Chandra? Or Chandra, that, if you prefer. That, uh, that artwork is sick. Yeah, the artwork for that one's sick, the next one's weird. Um, but quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, and discard one card, set one Labyrinth Spell Trap from your hand or deck to your field, if a monster or monsters leaves a field by a normal trap card's effects while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. Sure. Um, note, it's Chandelier plus Dragon. <laughs> Thanks. Just you, in case we missed it. Thanks for your organisation. Your translations are impeccable as always. Um, somewhat late. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, next is Labyrinth Stovey. Uh, level 2 Dark Fiend Effect Monster. Uh, attack 0, Defense 2k. You say and it's weird, but it's a stove. Yeah, but it's also a cat. What the fuck? You, you loved appliances. I did. Until yeah, but I realized what's the pun? 
E V is the V the pun like a. <sighs> Fun fact: If you ever go to Jake's house, Jake loved appliances that much he drew eyes on all of the appliances in his house. That's simply not true. <laughs> it is true. There's no eyes on anything in my apartment. Everything. To Nothing. confirm, you all should start breaking into houses and seeing if there's eyes on the appliances. <laughs> yes. And then you yell at the owner, being like, You have an appliance a day, duel me! <laughs> they call the police. They're like, no, people, duel me! I thought people only broke into your house to play Dragon Mates. Oh, <laughs> 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 Quick effect. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and discard one card, set one labyrinth spell trap from your hand or deck to your field. If a monster or monsters leaves the field by normal trap cards effect while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. So, did I misread that in that the Chandra and the Cat Stove both have the same effect? Uh, the same effect, except Chandra goes to hand, this goes to field. So, mm. on the second effect. This is a trap archetype, yeah? Yes. We're like seven fucking monsters deep. Yes. Yeah. Because the good trap... Well, that's the thing, for the most part, like, it's kind of generic in the traps that it can do. Yeah. Oh, um, we've okay. kind of been bearing the lead here. The the normal traps are just any traps. Yeah, like there's like there's the a couple. Like there's like two signature. No, we'll get to it. There's like two signature traps, but then it's just like no, you can just search any trap you want, as long as it's a normal one, and sometimes as long as it activates in the battle phase. Any of these level two? Uh, the last one we read, Labyrinth Stovey. Balia. Oh yes. Anyway, um, Labyrinth. Uh, Ku Klok. Uh, <laughs> level 1 Dark Fiend effect. Attack and defense 0. You know these are first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. Quick effect, you can de discard this card. This turn, while you control a Labyrinth monster, you can activate one normal trap card the turn it was set. If this card is sent, if a card of cards is sent from your hand to the graveyard to activate a Labyrinth card effect, except Labyrinth Ku Klok, or a normal trap card while this card is in your graveyard, you can either add this card to your hand or special summon it. So yeah, this is the this is the card that helps you maintain that advantage that you're like really going neg on. Uh, note cuckoo plus clock. Oh, I thought it was a bunch of cucks. No, cuckoo is one of those birds that like lays its eggs in other birds' nests. Fucking cucks. Uh, next is the field spell labyrinth labyrinth. <laughs> Well, they, they clearly ran out of puns by this point in the archetype. They're just like, I can't think of anything else. Um, you can only use the first and second card of, first of this card's name once per turn. If you activate a set Welcome Labyrinth normal trap card, you can add this additional effect to its effects. Destroy one card in the field. Uh, if you activate a non-Labyrinth normal trap card, you can special summon one fee monster from your hand or graveyard. So, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Is Labyrinth Wall a fiend? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's a rock. Yeah, I think it's a. Wait. No, no, labyrinth walls are rock. Your shadow, shadow of the labyrinth yeah. walls fiend. If only it was. I don't even know how to spell fiend. labyrinth. You just read it. The second, this, the second labyrinth in that labyrinth is the correct labyrinth. Yeah, I was gonna mm -hmm. say. Yeah, that uh, that's such a weird way to spell labyrinth too. Like the Y isn't where I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, it is a rock. Fuck! That would have been so cool! It was right there! I think maybe they didn't do that for that... I don't know. Um, yeah. The um, police card said rock. If you activate a non-labyrinth normal trap card, you can special someone. Yeah, we read that. Cool. Um, and we're still not onto the traps. Quick play spell. Labyrinth oh. setting. <laughs> you can only use one card with this card's name once per turn. Uh, target two of your labyrinth spell traps that are banished and or in your graveyard except labyrinth settings. Shuffle them into the deck. Then, if you control a fiend monster, you can set one labyrinth normal trap card with different names from each other from your deck equal to the number of cards shuffled. I was going to say, if this card didn't set, that would be very disappointing. Oh yeah, it'd be AIDS if you like shuffle the bin and then, like the whole thing could be ashed. That would suck. Yeah, and then it would have to be called labyrinth adding. Not labyrinth. Oh, right, yeah. I didn't pick up on that. ashing. I oh, did <laughs> Um, welcome Labyrinth. A trap card! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are on to so the yeah, this trap is the, cards. Yeah. Oh, there's actually, there's, there's more trap cards in this deck than I thought there were. There's three. There's <laughs> three more than need be, because you're just going to set good ones. I'm just going to set Magic Cylinder. <laughs> but Magic Cylinder's already searchable. With Magic Cylinder Cylinder, you just play Magic Cylinder Labyrinth Archetype. 
imagine a deck to where your win con is waiting for your opponent to attack you and throwing it back at them. If Dark Magician Girl searched up uh, Magic Cylinder, would she be It would more make open? her better than her current effect. That is about it. What if she searched Magical Hats? <gasps> the Magician's Assistant set one Magical Hat directly from the deck. Anyway, back to Welcome Labyrinth. Um, special summon one Labyrinth monster from your deck, but you cannot special summon monsters from the deck and extra deck until the end of this uh, next turn until this card resolves, except theme monsters. Oh, that conflicts with Eldritch. Yeah, that's why you have to chain. Sing wind to this. Uh, <laughs> until the end of the next turn. After this resolves, yeah? Uh, yeah, but then that... But then after you use Sanguine, you can't special summon other than zombies. Oh no, we found the flaw in Eldritch plus Booga. It doesn't work. No, no, that's right. You just don't use Welcome Labyrinth. Yeah, I was going to say this card is definitely <laughs> not worth that restriction. Yeah, um, if a monster or monsters leaves a field by your normal trap cards effect, while this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can send this card to your field. Yeah, it's really not worth it just to summon a big thing out of the deck. Yeah, you you can definitely do enough stuff on turn that you would rather keep. Like the 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 theories that I've seen of it, you could just go full Labyrinth and it'd be maybe okay. But you do enough. You can get them out on turn enough for this not to matter yeah I feel like this is like very much an opponent's turn is Old Lich your turn is Labyrinth kind of deck that's how I feel it's going to work if it works at all um, next is Queen's even legal by then Just we'll see how we go ball. shut up please shut up <laughs> got to trade in the Labyrinth well, not trade in the other one cost down cost down Jesus. Anyway, uh, Fell Welcome Labyrinth. Uh, normal trap when a monster declares an attack. If you control a fee monster, target one card in the field, negate the attack, and if you do, destroy that target. Then you can set one non-Labyrinth normal trap from your hand or deck to the field. It's just worse Mirathors. Mirathors? Mirathors. Yes. What do you think destroys the monsters? It's the thorns. Don't fact check no, that. I'm not, I'm not touching that. Uh, it's a play on fairly well... Yep, yeah, sure. Um, Labyrinth Barrage uh, when you activate a set normal trap card except itself your opponent takes no further damage from your card effects until the end of the next turn after That's this card resolves bullshit result. how are you winning the game also this card's effect becomes that normal trap card's effect when that card is activated um, so some shenanigans could be pulled with that but yeah not an amazing restriction um, oh boy, really Archfiend thinking? Glitch which should be known as Demon Glitch um, if you control a fiend monster, target one card in the field, destroy it, then you can send one fiend monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's actually BA really good. support. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. That sends back Jack. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. This this is the, that's this, really this good. is the best card, and it's not it's not named after them, but yeah, that's true. It's not it's an archfiend card. It's not actually a labyrinth card. Yeah, that's <laughs> just back Jack support though. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's it's in that, and that is it's it's really good. Yeah, I like that card. Yeah, so Labyrinth has some cool things it can do. Um, it'll be interesting to see some builds and things come out. Uh, next we have the last card announced for uh, the Banishy deck, um, which is yet another fusion, but it's probably their best one. Um, it's called Huggin, Wings of the Mystery Room. Uh, level 2 Light Fairy Fusion Effect Monster, Attack and Defense 0, 2 Mystery Room Monsters as Material, but it's never been summoned by Polymerization. Uh, if this card is special summon from the extra deck, you can discard one card, add one Mr. Rune Field spell from your deck to the hand. If another card you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card instead. Um, if this card in the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, return to the extra deck. Yeah. So. Oh, I didn't notice this. Apparently, um, all of those Mr. Rune cards are named after Odin's Ravens. Oh, that's interesting. I never knew they had names. Whack. I like, never knew Odin had Ravens. Look. <laughs> We've been teasing him for this long. We're going to get it over and done with, Jake. Yep. Ben's raring to go on this one. Uh, we have the announcement of support for Gem Knights. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that is not at all what I was hoping for, but that's okay. Yeah, that's, and look, it's, it's not amazing support. It does, definitely doesn't enable the FTK that he wants it to. I, I accept that Konami's not just going to openly print cards in 2022 to say it's okay to FTK your opponent. So, like, this is probably as good as we could expect. Yeah, and like, it's, it's honestly not terrible. It's as good as you can get from support for a deck that can openly make the game degenerate. Yeah, 
look valid. So we'll go through them. Uh, we have Gemini Quartz, level 4, Earth Fairy Effect Monster, uh, Attack and Defense 15. You can only use first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. If your opponent controls a monster, off to not a great start, you can discard this card, set one fusion continuous spell directly from your deck. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, or from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except Gemini Monsters. If this card is used as fusion material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, add one Gem Knight monster from your graveyard to your hand, except itself. So, it's a fine card. A lot of this stuff just plays into the whole you should probably be OTKing your opponent instead of FTKing your opponent. Boring. Which kind of conflicts with some other support that we've gotten previously that stops you from attacking directly. That kind of messes with that a little bit, but hey, at the end of the day, it's Gem Knight support and it's not terrible. So. Um, next we have a Crystal Rose Retrain uh, in Brilliant Rose, level 2 Light Rock Effect Monster. It's not a retrain, you just play both. I mean, yeah, sure. Crystal Rose you could play both Demox. Anyway, um, this card is always treated as a Gemini card. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. Discard. Also, also treated as a Melodious card. It doesn't say that there. Oh, does it not say that there? Oh, no. it definitely does, it though. It did. It doesn't say it here. You used oh. to. I can, in fact, read. Um, <laughs> uh, you can only, yeah. Yeah, I know. It, it's a recent development. Um, can you see that up here? Yeah. Th look, reading it. How, how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> 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 anyway. Um, he was holding eight, Jake. Shut up. Um, you can discard one Gem Knight or Melodious card, special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can send one Gem Knight or Melodious monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. This card's name, type, attribute becomes the same as the sent monster's original name, type, and attribute until the end phase. So it's really just the first effect that you want for Gem Knights, because it doesn't count itself as Melodious on board. It's fine. Um, then we have a new fusion, uh, Gem Knight Lady Rose Deer, um, or Diamond in English. Yeah, must be Diamond in English. Um, Earth Fairy Fusion Effect, uh, level 8, 2700 attack, 2400 defense, one Gem Knight monster and one Fairy monster. The first time a Gem Knight monster or monsters you control would be destroyed by card effect during each opponent's turn. It is not destroyed. Ugh. Um, when your opponent activates a monster effect during your turn, quick effect, you can banish one Gem Knight card from your graveyard, target one face up card, your opponent controls, destroy it. So, something rather interesting about the new. Gem Knight support. We're going to get to the next card. Mm -hmm. It only realistically locks you out of the extra deck. They banned Brilliant Fusion because we were using it to send Snow to summon Seraph Knight. Correct. The new card just lets you send Snow to summon Seraph Knight. It does, yeah. But the extra deck restriction means that, yeah, like decks like that just wanted the extra normal summon the body on board to like turbo into other shit are restricted. So it's fine for Gem Knight. Gem Knight can send as many Snows as they fucking want. It's well, not going to. Yeah. enable their game state realistically to OT or to FTK specifically in current Gem Knights you desperately need links so like just that one restriction is enough for this support to not be even remotely useful in an FTK build mm -hmm. um, in the OCG I can very much see this getting Master Diamond banned yeah yeah like this support in the OCG is busted and what's the main difference just Block Dragon uh, well, yeah, Block Dragon summons from Pick Grape, so it doesn't set apart that issue. Um, yeah. If you give me the support in fucking Master Still, it's fucked. It's um, game over. On to the last card. I really like the background texture of this. It's one of the few that's really popped out. Um... Yeah, I I actually really like the background of um, Gemini Quartz as well. Like they've yeah. definitely put in a lot of effort to like. <sighs> these guys don't look at enough Gemini. Quartz. I was going to say Aquamarine actually stands out to me. I've always liked the background of that. Uh, the rest of all just kind of they take up too much space. But there's definitely some other Gemini cards where it does stand out, and this is one of them where it's just like beautiful. Um, then we move on to the last card, Scatter Fusion, Continuous Spell. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. Keyword Continuous, so don't go buying your ulti Brilliant Fusions. Yeah, don't do that. Um, if your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one non-rock Gem Knight mon fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your deck as fusion material. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Gem Knight monsters. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Um, interesting that you can just do it again next turn if for whatever reason they still have a turn after this yeah kind of I'm, just brilliant fusion but kind of better <laughs> kind of worse yeah look they do different things one of them is banned one of them is not yeah one um, of them is going to be at three 
Uh, that's so unfortunate too. I was looking forward to a day where we might get like Brilliant Fusion back because the ultis look so good. We can get Brilliant Fusion back. Like this support just openly concedes that Brilliant Fusion isn't that good. Like, I mean, doesn't it effectively just give you Brilliant Fusion but not make it for everybody? Yes. Which is the reason why I don't think Brilliant Fusion will come back. But yeah, Brilliant Fusion's at same. one in the OCG, so like... Are they get one? Yeah, uh, they have one Brilliant Fusion I would, I would play Brilliant Fusion just so that I could play my ultis at one. Absolutely. Send fucking... Is there, a, is there one that likes Darks? I'll just send an Alistair so that the invocation I opened without Alistair's live. <laughs> <sighs> Sad. Um... Moving on to the next archetype that was announced, um, it's all a bunch of sort of uh, Earth fairies. Um, I didn't read this. We can file off next week if you want. Yeah, I think we will. Um, basically, they um, kind of they look like Naturia support to me from what I've read of them so far. It's weeb shit. It's not even that. It's literally just like literal fairies. Like it's like they've picked picked it out from a storybook. So it's not even like waifu bait. Like a crap story. Uh, GRCR support. Uh, Grand Career. Oh yeah. So um, they've. Uh, oh yeah. So I think as part of the element is supporting the Grand Creator archetypes, except for Adventurer. Well, Adventurer got they their other stuff announced. They haven't announced the cards yet. That's good point. Well, Adventurer got more support than the other ones anyway, didn't it? Because it got that um random thing that special summons itself and like changes control with your opponent. Ah, uh, there he is. Sorry? Ah, uh, didn't read. So that's Punk and Exorcista, yeah? Yes, that's right. So Exorcista we... card. Very good. Yeah, the... Very good. This is, yeah, so Exorcista Malfa, uh, Light Spell Caster Effect, that's Attack right. 16, Defense 8. Uh, you can only use the card's first effect once per turn, or second effect as well. If you control no monsters or all monsters you control are Xe monsters, special summon this card from your hand. If you do, special summon one Exorcista Elise from your deck. You can also special summon monsters the turn you activate this, except for Exorcistas. So... I haven't bothered to check whether or not Elise is the bad one, but it gives you so much advantage that it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know if I spelled it right. Or just, it there's like it. five Exorcista monsters. If you just oh. search Exorcista, it's fine. I don't have it updated on here. Oh, damn. What? Oh, well. Oh, anyway, move. we assume that it's the bad one. If it's a good one, sure. Um, if a card of cards is moved out of either graveyard, it can special summon this uh, from your extra deck one Exorcista Xe monster using face up card you control as material. Oh, this face up card is material. This is treated as an Xe summon. Sure. Um, then they also get a trap card, Exorcista Latanya. Uh, normal trap card, you can only use a card with this card's name once per turn. If all monsters you control are Exorcista monsters, minimum one, pay 800, target a card your opponent controls or in their graveyard, banish that card, then you can apply one of these effects. Immediately after this effect resolves, Xe uh, summon one Exorcista Xe monster from. Oh, I'm using Xe monsters as your control. If you Xe summoned previously this turn, banish one card your opponent controls. Is it one of these effects or both? Apply one of these effects. It's just so good. The support is so good. It is good. quite good. Um, then we move on to the punk, which I'm I not. Didn't overly bother sorry. reading it. Oh, did I? <laughs> the other I support was so good, I was like, I don't give two fucks about the punk support. <laughs> Uh, so first we have a new Synchro for them, uh, Punk Jam Dragon Drive, uh, Earth Psychic Synchro Effect, Attack 27, Defense 24, Level 8. That did uh, it. Um, come on in, Jam, or welcome to the slam. Was it, wait, sorry, that was the other way. You, oh, yeah, okay. you fucked it. <laughs> 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 um, you can only use this card's names, first and second effects, each once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned or Special Summoned by Punk Card's Effect, you can pay 600. Take one level three psychic monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Uh, if your opponent activates a card in effect to uh, or effect in response to the activation of your punk card's effects while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. Um, still doesn't actually give them what they need, which is off turn interaction, but anywho. Um, uh, punk Jam Extreme Session. Uh, field Spell. You can only use this card's second effect once per turn. Once per turn, banish. Why word it like that? Yeah. Anyway. Um, once per turn, you can banish one punk card from your graveyard, special summon one punk monster from your hand. If either player pays life points to activate the effect of a psychic monster you control, uh, draw one card. Yeah. I feel like it's like Earth's Arctic. They just sort of gave it this so it have some advantage because there's that stupid Earth's Arctic card that's like, oh, you can draw seven. You're never drawing seven in that deck. It's not happening. 
Um, yeah, the Exor Sister stuff, very good. Uh, punk stuff, I don't know enough about the archetype. It still seems a bit eh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, look, you do what you can. Yeah. Um, next we have the Amazonas support from yes. uh, Duelists of Pyroxene. So much support. And it is a lot of support. So, also, the Gemite support isn't from the Pyroxene set. Despite the fact that it seems very obvious that Gem Knight support is going to be in that Pyroxene set. Yeah, so is there more? And then Power of the Elements was just a teaser. So, like, it's just the tie tie together. Like, it's weird, though, because you think you would announce the stuff that's coming first. Unless the stuff that's coming first is actually garbage and they're like, people get more excited it, over it's this. It's in the pack, so it could be. It yeah. could be like, this is Gem Knight Rocks. Uh, Gem Knight Rocks is a vanilla level one. Zero, zero. Imagine them being so lazy when there's so many different gems they haven't touched yet that Gem they Knight just go, rock. Gem Knight rocks. Gem Knight coal. Your opponent <laughs> gains 8,000 life points. Special summon this card from your oh, hand. Dark. A dark one. Yeah, that's give it. me it's a dark. dark one. And then give me a dark fusion so I can brilliant fusion and send out stuff. To be fair, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if they just printed a Gem Knight card that was busted, but it said your opponent gains life points. <laughs> Yeah, each time you you special summon while this card is on the board, your opponent gains life points. Um, so yeah, we move on to the Amazonas support, and we start with... Oh, you just look, that looks fake. Yeah, it doesn't look brilliant, does it? I think the text is the wrong font, and that betrays it somewhat. Yeah, the, the top, and that little slim purple border. Yeah, something about this looks very wrong. Oh, but it has shit. been announced by <laughs> official sources. Uh, so we start with Queen Amazonas, uh, Earth level 10, Warrior Fusion, Attack 32, Defense 28. Um, materials are an Amazonas fusion monster and an Amazonas monster. Oh, which so it's is shit. It's not a great start. Um, the first and second effects of this card cannot be... Oh, no, first effect. Um, cannot be activated um, one, more than once per turn. Um, can be activated if this card is fusion summoned. Special summon one Amazonas monster from your deck. As long as the card is in the monster zone. Amazonas cards on your field other than this card cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects and cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Um, if this card, which is fusion summoned from Empress Amazonas or Queen Amazonas, can attack twice during... Who the fuck worded this? But anyway, it gets this two is, attacks. That card is literally just a copy-paste of the effect of the big wound line. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. It's just a straight copy-paste. Sure. Like, to the fact... That, like even the fusion material of needing a fusion monster is just switched from Ludolite to Amazonas. Wouldn't surprise me if it's they were the that lazy. It's the exact same card. Yeah. Um, next one, whether this copies anything or not, I do not know yet. Um, Amazonas Pet Tiger Lion King. Um, Earth level 9, beast fusion effect, attack 25, defense 26, level 5 or higher Amazonas monster and an Amazonas monster. Uh, use the effect of two of this card's name only once per turn. Cannot... <laughs> I hate the translation of this. It's so AIDS to read. <laughs> uh, as long as this card is in the monster zone, your opponent's um, monsters cannot attack monsters other than this card. Um, target one Amazonas card on your field and one Amazonas monster in your graveyard. Destroy the card on the field and special summon the monster in um, your target in the graveyard. This card cannot attack during the turn. This effect is activated. Oh god, heaven forbid. Yeah, let's give Amazonas restrictions, that's necessary. I somehow feel as though some of that has something to do with Harpy's Pet Dragon, but... <laughs> well, we're just going to draw parallels between each of these to other so archetypes now. They have... do... So is Amazonas done after this? Like... Well, no, because people will still like the archetype. This is the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh's, these archetypes live forever. Until they ban a card, and it's like irrevocably unsavable with no matter what errata you do, these archetypes live forever. And forever, they'll be able to print support to bring other people back in. Because they've tried so many times to wheel out extra stuff for them. Yeah, because they've never done that for Toons or Gem Knights or yeah, I'm not, you know, I have anything the same, else. I have the same thing for Toons. Are we done with Toons? No. No, not at all. To um, be fair, it's been a while since we've gotten Toon cards. No, Toons are better than... Oh, actually, no, it toons. hasn't. It's been like a year. <laughs> did huh. someone forget about Toon Chaos? Yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> toons are better than Amazonas, though. That's just a fact. Remember I mean, when we, we haven't listened get... to all their support yet. Remember when Toon, Ka when toon Chaos didn't have Toon King a minute? 
so and good. then Konami was like it's okay guys we gave you an ulti- OTS ulti and Jake was like that's a shit ulti and I was like guess what that's all you've got it all comes back to the shit ulties yep and now it here wasn't we all are. we had they, they printed some other AIDS rarity of it yeah, they printed they a printed common the co- or something the, didn't they they did the coloured um, ultra res yeah, the, yeah yeah anyway um, next card we have is Amazonas Gold Whip User um, yeah the translations these are terrible um, that's a lot of fucking text that's a pendulum card oh. can we can we veto this yeah okay um, do we move on to the non fuck that's a lot of text again it's Amazon as shit. Leave it. Cool. All right. Um, so I've you... been vetoed. Look, um, they if... have a new fusion spell as well. Uh, yeah, I'm it's pr- probably just Lunar Light fusion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't, and this isn't a shit on it. It's just, a, it's just a weird space for it to come into, especially with that other, especially with the precedent of Jules packs just being trash. It, feel, it does feel like a kind of waste of uh, ink for like... them to even do this. If I would be keen to talk about this set when we get the full details and we get Leo's cards. I'm I'm curious about it. Whose cards? Uh, the the little shithead that has um Leo and Luna, the fucking Leo. yeah he has the power tool dragon. Are we getting power tool dragons? Yeah, there's a new yeah. power tool. Card. Oh fuck off! Like so, we'll come back to this in due course. Uh, if there is something we are missing. Feel free to hit us up in the comments or in on our Discord. Well, the main I'm, thing we're missing is that Amazonas are women. So is Labyrinth, and they're better. There's only one woman in La- or two, and she's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Uh, so we move on to our Discord comments. Uh, so we do have a Discord. The links down in the description. Uh, cool bunch of lads in there. You can ask us questions that we will be able to sort of shout you on the podcast as we read them out. Um, occasionally, there's some duels and stuff happening. Some great uh, sort of back and forth. So feel free to jump into the Discord. Uh, say hi. Uh, so our first question <laughs> this week was, comes from Rai Guy. I was hoping um, Luke does would be not like this. really sell the. Um, cool questions segment of our podcast but uh here we are why bakugan the coolest toy out of all the japanese shows from our childhood i wish luke was awake the whole reason i put i flagged this comment was i thought this would be a different setting i apologize uh bakugan is definitely not the coolest thing from our japanese childhood. it wasn't even like in our like it wasn't in our time frame was it no. We're too old for Bakugan. We are too old, but also I have little brothers in that age bracket and they did not give two shits. Yeah, you guys like, remember Metabots? Metabots? I think I do. There's like, they're like little robots that you could detach like the pieces and attach other pieces and it had a TV show. The TV show is actually really good. Like it's a really well written show. I can't hmm. remember if it's the one I'm and thinking like, of. I'll take that in. It's like the little yellow, the main robot was like yellow border with like I'm, a white center. I'm sure that's... I'm sure it's what I'm and thinking of. They put like talismans into their wrist and it upgrade yes! the robot. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah, remember yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. actually really well done. It was actually like, wasn't bad. They clearly put all of their money into the writing and no money into the animation. Because <laughs> there's times in that show where there's, this, there's literally the animation is the removal of animation. <laughs> the question I really should have put in was where can I get singles in Australia? Uh, just, there's a few different places as long as you get there on release because uh, they won't be there after that yeah. uh, Nantico, uh, and that's Red Drive in our Discord thank you yes thank you very much for that um, yeah but there's a few different places uh, Nantico, uh Chaos Factory uh, the Trade Binder collectibles I don't know a discount code for them uh, Team Card Titans um, and then just like your random auction trade sales pages as well the problem is that at the moment, um, just getting cards on release is like the only time you can get them. If you're looking for older archetypes, you need to hit the trade it's, sales pages. It's just eBay at the end of the day. Best it's offer on stuff. eBay. <laughs> eBay. Go. There's, there's Honestly, a bloke that lives next door that like cracks open a bunch of products sometimes and is listed on eBay and you keep messaging being like, hey, can I come pick it up? He just ignores you. <laughs> and you order it and he posts it like tracked, but like posted in the mail. We live next door just stalk him just like literally just sit by his door and as he goes to the um, post office he's like I'll take that <laughs> you, got my, you got my package I live next door man you don't need to post imagine that. you like physically ghost you just like walks past you oh, into yeah. the elevator <laughs> big Majora's Mask vibe there sorry otherwise um yeah 
Best off for anybody. Majora's Mask. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did notice. You that definitely do stalk uh, a person while they're getting the post. <laughs> Um, we have some questions from our podcast as well, which is on YouTube. Um, if you found us on YouTube, hey, awesome, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Um, so we have a comment from Ominous Gengar. Um, hello, Hayden. Uh, Loza, do be hitting us with the mad dab. What a legend. Yeah, no one else really has the power to do that on this podcast. Yeah, I'm too old and frail. Yeah, I'm throwing my back out. <laughs> uh, then we have uh, Dedeek33 on uh, Nolan's segment of our last week's podcast what would you suggest to make the game better it's not I'm assuming that's meant to say just yeah uh, it's not just not just <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> it's not just shit structure decks uh, it's that one that ones that could be decent don't make it to the TCG the Dragoonity and Agents decks got turned into Ghosts of the Past sets that didn't reprint the older stuff. Don't need to tell me. Yeah. Where are my agents? Um, and that is a good point. Even, like, as a tag on to that discussion we had last week about the structured decks, yeah, the way they treat structured decks is, like, is so broken. Yeah. Like, just, did yeah. As a fundamental for the game, they're treated like garbage. Uh, Can and, I mean, TCG hates them. As... It just doesn't make any sense, like, especially last year where they did that. Uh, yeah, putting those um, putting those decks into the Ghost of the Past pack, and then just whipping up. Might be the year before where they did the same thing, where then they make the Slifer and Obelisk deck, which the Slifer and Obelisk support would one hundred percent be a, like a cool Ghost of the Past. Like one hundred percent fits the theme. That would be warranted. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like oh, even cool. Inferno will just got whacked into like half in Toon Chaos and half in whatever the main set was well it was already due for the main set anyway yeah yeah like it, that was meant to be like a salad sort of deal but then we just didn't yeah. get it that way which was and that awesome. would have been an amazing deck like they dicked on the deck in the ban list anyway which yeah. is like realistically if that's what a structure deck is people have already paid their money it's low investment you hit it who cares yeah. like that should have been a structure because yeah. that was a very good example of what like an out of the box deck could do it would be it would have been very good as a structure instead they just released it in a set that was super hard to get the pull rates were stupid <sighs> i'm so shocked they didn't do it to albaz at the end of the day i mean like give them oh, time yeah. <laughs> I, fucking I give them time honestly impressed that we're getting the albaz structure deck i also thought we'd get it in our tune chaos for this year yeah i thought it'd be oh it's like oh they've been pumping those out in packs there's yeah. no way they don't destroy this and put some other crappy thing together i think they maybe put themselves into a corner with it like they, they would have, have loved yeah they would have loved to have just put it into a main set so they had to buy it along with all the other garbage but then they're like we chucked agents into the ghost of the past we have to give them something yeah, <laughs> yeah i have to come up with a structure deck yeah like what the, are they gonna do did they just release less structure decks last year in the ocg no they got a fair decent amount of structure decks like mm. what we what they just release or they just announced the crystal beast one but yeah. like that's oh. not again a competitive structure deck and actually and the way tcg is treated um crystal beast 100 percent that's coming in packs yeah oh absolutely There's, they will not be in a box and it'll be four years from now no, it, it'll, probably, <laughs> it'll probably be in like our december whatever set that we got 2026 uh, i i raise you this it won't be in a structure deck box it won't be in a side set It'll be in the advent card. <laughs> oh my god, a crystal for every <laughs> advent. You have to buy three advent calendars to buy the crystal beasts. Do we get an advent calendar? <laughs> do we get a meta advent calendar? I fucking hope not. That is a waste of they ink did, and They bubble. didn't do it last year. Good. They didn't get an it advent calendar. It was bad. Because they still have the other ones lying around. Yeah, you could still go to like most stores that sell you your product and get the old advent calendar. That Link Karibo warped so quick. Oh yeah. So quick. So, the funniest thing is, all of the stuff from those advent calendars warped incredibly quickly, including the Performer Pal Karibo. I bought one pack of Brothers of Legend and pulled the Performer Pal Karibo, it also warped immediately. It's to match! Yeah. <laughs> At least they don't, won't know where my mark cards are of all my Karibos. Ah, goes. they're all the same! <laughs> Card warping is getting to me, man. It's not great, is it? Yeah getting bad spy ulties they don't warp as much 
Yeah. Oh, that's why. That's why I need Ulti Al Alves. Yeah, that's why you need the next OTS pack. There you Zeus. do. Uh, but that concludes us for tonight's podcast. Uh, we got there eventually, uh, mainly because we skipped all of Amazonas um, and the Earth Fairy, whatever the fuck they did. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you all very much for listening. As I said, feel free to like, describe, uh, find us on all uh, places where good podcasts are available. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next week. Peace. But where should they describe us? Describe us. Great beast of okay. the sky, please hear my cry. Transform myself from all the light and bring me victory in this fight. Envelop the desert with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. Unlock your powers from deep within so that together we may win. Uh, you definitely skipped a line in the third paragraph. Mm -hmm. I've, I've forgotten this line now. 